Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Church Hill Estates. Church Hill Estates is an older established neighborhood in San Antonio. Very, um, very good neighborhood, great school district, and we're standing in front of 14303 Citation. That's 14303 Citation. This is a three bedroom, two bath home, approximately 2,415 square feet. It was built in 1975. It sits on a corner lot. The lot is about 13,000 square feet, so it's about a double size lot. And best of all, this home is about $33,000 underneath the county appraisal, instant savings. Exterior of this home is brick. As I said, it was built in the 70s, so you'll notice there's kind of some 70s style architecture here. Exterior wise though, because it is all brick, it does have uh, you know pretty low maintenance. It's gonna maybe need a power washing. Now, as you can maybe tell on the street, it is a little hilly over here in this area of town, which is kind of nice, but sometimes that does tend to lead to a little bit of settling on the exterior of the home, there is a little bit of evidence of some brick, um, some brick movement. It doesn't look terribly bad, but there is evidence of a little bit of settling. We'll notice on the inside when we go in to what degree the settling has affected the slab. As always, HUD does sell these homes as is. They don't offer you any kind of a warranty. They do allow you to get an inspection. If you're an owner occupant, they give you 10 days to get an inspection. Or is it 15 days? I think it might be 15 days. But you have time to get an inspection and just kind of see what you're getting into. This home does sit at the corner of Citation and Churchill Estates Drive, which is the main road. It does have a three-car garage, which is definitely a, a nice perk. There are some really beautiful homes in this neighborhood. Now let me come over here and show you this back wall. This doesn't seem to be structural, but you can sort of see how the brick has started to settle there. So you may want to have that looked at. Now normally I cut to walking through the inside and going to the backyard, but we're just going to take a straight walk back through this side gate here, side fence, and we are in the backyard. What kind of looks good is the main structure of the home doesn't really show any settling. It's just the side uh, walls, and because those typically aren't on uh, as, as big of a foundation or a slab as you can see this thick slab here, sometimes those tend to settle more so than the actual uh, home itself. If the foundation is right, then the rest of the home tends to be fine. But you have a little kind of a private courtyard patio here with some sliding glass doors that take you out. I think that's kind of neat. And then you can come through this little wrought iron fence here into your main backyard. If you wanted to have a pool installed, you could. It's not a big deal. We have another sliding glass door that takes you out to the backyard here in a tiny little, a tiny little shed does have a fireplace so let's take a look at the inside of this nice home well before we step in you'll notice you do have another little private front entryway here which I think is nice we step into the home and the home definitely has that 70s architecture uh, not particularly high ceilings only about it looks like about an uh, maybe eight foot ceilings if we turn to the left here through this little arch we have your formal living and formal dining rooms that in turn opens up and goes into your kitchen. So we'll come back in a second, but this room really just needs some flooring and some painting. Maybe take off that, uh, peel off that wallpaper. We have this hallway that takes you to the bedroom. So to the right here, we have bedroom number one. Bedroom number one is going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. And actually the, the home does not have any symptoms of any settling, which is nice. So they probably poured the foundation pretty right. Right here we have a little coat closet. Right next to that bedroom we have bedroom number two. Bedroom number two is going to need a fresh coat of paint and some uh, flooring. Then we have full bathroom number one. Full bathroom number one has granite countertops and dual vanities and it has a shower and tub combo. Now it's a little bit dark in here so I'm using my flashlight to give you some lighting but you know pretty standard looks like the original shower and tub combo they did upgrade the countertop but the cabinetry looks original there's ceramic tile on the floor which i think is nice you could salvage that so really just maybe change the wallpaper in there put paint in next to that we have bedroom number three or your master bedroom and your master bath now this has a little step down which is kind of interesting 
you have a step down. There's sort of like a little sitting area here up front. You do have a plug, so if you wanted to have maybe a TV on a desk there, you could. You're going to want to change out the carpeting in this room, though, and put some paint in. We then have your master bath. The master bath does have ceramic tile. It has dual vanities, and you can kind of see this original 70s style countertop here. You have a shower and tub combo and a very unique tub. You can see how it has that little insert there, I guess potentially for an elderly person. And like I said, ceramic tile. It's going to need a fresh coat of paint in here. We then come over, you have a closet here and then a secondary master walk-in closet with some built-in shelving in there. So bathroom really just needs painting. The, mo the whole home actually just needs a fresh coat of paint, maybe remove that wallpaper and then some flooring. Then we come over into your big, great family room and kitchen. So you have a little dining area here. You'll notice these, uh, this little kind of cheap chandelier there. Your dining table could go here. And then a big open room. And I, I actually really like the ceiling. Maybe get rid of the popcorn, but those beams really uh, accentuate the open and the big feel of this big open living room. You have your kitchen here. Kitchen does have a granite countertop. Let me see if I can give you an idea of it. It's kind of like a dark green uh, countertop here that is granite. You have a little island here, kind of a small little nook for your oven and microwave, little walk-in pantry, and then we have that garage. So we're going to come down here. It's a little dark, but you have a step down into your laundry room. Your washer and dryer connections are here. As you can see, it's set up for an electric dryer. And then in turn, that opens up into the garage. So you have the two-car garage here, come over and we have that third garage here which actually was turned into an office or study you could probably pretty easily convert that back but otherwise you have kind of like an office or study here in the garage you have additional storage up top and your water heater here I would probably recommend turning it back into a garage it's nice to have a three-car garage looks like it has a water softener system here so we come in the garage we're into your laundry room we take these stairs up and we are into your kitchen and your big family living room here. Uh, here is the sliding glass door that takes you out to that little private patio out there, which I think is nice. You have a huge wall here of stone, which obviously has a fireplace. Great place for a Christmas tree if you celebrate Christmas. And I'll pan back from this mantle over here and show you the big open living space. And then you have another little interesting nook over here, which could be kind of second living area, maybe a little uh, office or whatever you wanted to use the space for. But you do have this little space off of these sliding glass doors that take you out to your regular backyard. So that's about it. This home is in a great area. I can't tell you how great Churchill Estates is. Very desirable. Plus, it's over $30,000 underneath the county appraisal. And it really just needs some cosmetic touching up. It could use some updating, obviously, but... That's all subjective. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 14303 Citation. That's 14303 Citation, a very nice three-bedroom, two-bath home in the highly sought-after Churchill Estate subdivision. This home is over $30,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's listed right now for only $235,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King and I want to help you find your castle.